Walid Radwan is back home after three weeks in prison. His crime, a post on his Facebook page. Radwan was charged with slander of public officials under Lebanon's criminal code. His detention is becoming part of what human rights groups call a disturbing pattern. Lebanon is supposed to be a country of freedoms and not a dictatorship. Instead, there is no freedom and there are many dictators. All I did was write a post on Facebook. I was summoned, investigated and imprisoned. In his post, Radwan criticized Prime Minister Saad al-Hariri for not standing up to the Lebanese armed group Hezbollah, whose members are indicted by a UN court in the assassination of Prime Minister Rafik al-Hariri. He wrote in his post, let us see if you can form a government or take any decision without the consent of your father's murderers. Wadia Asmar, a longtime defender of human rights, accuses those in power of a campaign of intimidation and creating an atmosphere of fear. Asmar says activists are increasingly being summoned by the Cyber Crimes Bureau. One case involved a post that addressed the president with complaints, including turning the country into a family home. He was uh, criticizing the president, explaining that we have two electricity bill, two water bill. We were this oasis of freedom in the, in, the, in, the, in the Middle East. So unfortunately, today we are pushing more and more to be looked like Egypt of Sisi, uh, Syria of Bashar al-Assad. Some politicians are trying to fight back, among them one-time journalist and member of parliament, Paula Yakubian. But she says legislative changes may not be enough. We are in a country where people are terrorized because they just, you know, give an opinion do we need the judge to be strong enough to not to listen to politicians? The problem starts with this political caste. Many Lebanese are denouncing the detention of people for peaceful criticism. While the Constitution guarantees freedom of expression, protesters say libel laws are being used to silence critics. We contacted the Internal Security Forces Cyber Crimes Bureau for comment, but they haven't responded to our request. Human rights groups say at least 40 people have been summoned since 2016 for what they expressed online. Some, like Ridwan, spent time in prison. He may now be free, but his freedom has its limits. Zanakhudar Al Jazeera, Beirut.